The Commission of Inquiry report on page 68 says the standard of proof in criminal proceedings is proof beyond reasonable doubt. There is no sufficient evidence that gives rise to criminal prosecution. That was the finding of the commission headed by Sir Fenton Ram Sohoy in relation to two road projects. The Commission of Inquiry had been charged with investigating three main matters, the road projects, the Rochamel Affair and the NCA. After rejecting the notion of criminal prosecution on the road projects called RDP-001 and RDP-002, the commissioners recommended that the project manager, Dewey, be held accountable for the cost overruns that occurred on the project. It should be noted that the commissioners cited the communications minister at the time, Felix Finiste, and his officers for lack of oversight on the project. They also noted on page 71 that although the prime minister at the time, Dr. Kenny Anthony, alerted the CDB who was funding the project that it was exceeding costs. Other than site visits and reviews, the bank continued to pay the project manager. They say that contributed to the more than U.S. $30 million loss on the project, one that should be paid by the project manager. Of the much-discussed Rochamel affair involving the now Sandals Grand Hotel, the commission not only cleared the former prime minister of any wrongdoing in the matter, but on page 69 says his late intervention reduced the debt to be paid by the St. Lucian government by U.S. $2.5 million from over 17000 to U.S. $14,592, $350. On the matter of the NCA, the Commission concluded that more oversight was needed at the body and recommended that the NCA board only be responsible for policy and beautification projects, leaving the now defunct STEP program to be administered separately. The 78-page document is signed by the head of the Commission and his two commissioners, namely Mustafa Ibrahim and Reginald Dumas. What is contained in the document does not appear to make a case against the former SLP administration headed by Dr. Kenny Anthony. It may be the reason he was so anxious to have it tabled at the last seating of Parliament on August 25th. There were allegations impugning the integrity of members on this side. They were supposed to find corruption. He took the liberty of issuing a statement. The conventions and practices of this House must be observed. And we are tired of these breaches. So we want the report today. The cost of the commission has not been made public. The SLP surmises it may have cost close to $3 million. The government's last estimate was $1 million. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.